up guys welcome back to my channel my name is Alia if you are new here so as you can tell by the title of today's video I am going to be comparing Bobonia curly hair extensions to Bell hair curly hair extensions now I have both sets right here and basically today I am going to be going through the prices the color ranges the length options and overall just what's maybe going to be right for your personal hair type. So I have had my Bobonia curly hair extensions for quite some time now, I would say a bit over a year, maybe close to two years actually, and they are still in really good condition. I have washed them numerous times and you can see that the curl pattern is still there. Now, the newer extensions I have are actually the Bell Hair extensions, which are these ones right here. And I have washed these, they have maintained their curl pattern, and they've actually softened up. So if you saw the review video I did recently, which I'll link up above, they were much more kind of like coarse, and the ringlets were a bit tighter, and they've loosened up since I washed them, but not to a point where it's like, not the same curl pattern really anymore. It's just that they are not as coarse, sort of like maybe whatever they put to preserve them while shipping I washed out, which I actually like a lot better now. It actually now matches the texture of my hair perfectly. So I've wrote out a bunch of notes here so I don't miss any key points, and we're gonna start out with the Bobonia extensions I have here. So they have several different hair textures. They have spiral, curly, kinky, and I believe there's one more. Um, the one that I have here is the Spiral Natural Black. I have this in 220 grams at 22 inches long, which is the longest length. And this retails for 278 euro and 81 cents or 319 US dollars and 28 cents. So the Bobonia comes in seven different shades, which is great. That's quite a good shade range. And I believe they can also do custom shades if you contact them ahead of time and want to do that. They also offer worldwide shipping, which is great. Now, like I mentioned, this is the 220 gram set. So this is the thickest and the longest set, which is just how I always like to roll. I always like the maximum length and the maximum volume. But if you do not want one that is as long or thick as this, they also offer the 110 gram, and that comes at a maximum length of 18 inches. And the price on that is 130 euro and 18 cents, or 149 dollars and seven cents. So you do have a couple options there. So the majority of the Bell Hair extensions only come in natural black or dark brown. They do have blonde in select curl and wave patterns, and you can contact them ahead of time to custom order a special color. They also offer worldwide shipping, which is great. And the one that I actually have here is the Exotic Curly in natural black, the 320 gram, 26 inches. I believe this is the Bougie set. And this retails for 344 euro or $393.93. Now I'm just reading off the longest lengths for you. They do come in other lengths as well. I'm just giving you the top price point. So they do come in other grams and thicknesses as well. So if you don't need the, you know, super long 26 inch with, you know, like all the bells and whistles, you don't need as many clip ins, you don't need as much volume, that's totally fine because they do have other options. So they also offer 200 grams in 24 inches or, you know, less inches for 252 euro and 56 cents or 289 dollars and 22 cents then they have also even a step lower than that they have the 120 grams at a maximum of 24 inches for 169 euros and 54 cents or 194 dollars and 15 cents now that we've got all of that information out of the way it is time to compare them on my actual head. So I'm going to be doing this half bell hair and this half babonia. And these are two different curl patterns, which I should reiterate. This is the exotic curly and this is the spiral. Now they are pretty similar as far as the curls, like they're not super different. This one may look a little curlier because it is shorter. So there's not as much weight weighing it down. The color on both of these is identical. So like I said, I got them both in a natural black. If the color goes in and out and sometimes I look really washed out, I apologize. I'm shooting with a different camera. 
I am having issues with my main filming camera at the moment, so the color on this may not be as great. Apologies. Okay, so I'm just going to split my hair down the center. It's much easier now that I've recently changed my hairstyle around. I gave myself a curly haircut and some bangs and a lot more layers, so my hair is looking quite a bit curlier than it used to because there's just like a lot more like shorter pieces going on. But now that I wear it, you know, parted down the middle, it's gonna make it a lot easier to show you this instead of with a side part. So another thing that I should mention about these extensions, this comes with two five clip wefts and it comes with two three clip wefts and then it comes with six two clip wefts. <laughs> that's kind of confusing, but that's basically how that goes. So you get a lot of these smaller clips and then a few of the bigger ones as well. So I'm going to start out with one of the five clip wefts here and then let's see hopefully there's space on just half of my head for one of those i've never tried this before so we're gonna be kind of learning together so i don't think that's actually gonna fit because this is meant to wrap around your entire head so we're gonna just skip down to the three clip weft which is going to be a lot easier to put on my head now you can clip these in basically however you want some people do the smaller ones at the bottom and the bigger ones at the top I personally like to do the bigger ones at the bottom and the smaller ones at the top, but kind of just depends on your personal preference and hairstyle and haircut. I really hate when you, you know when you like separate your curls and they get frizzy? hate that for me so much. Now I'm gonna move in with the two clip wefts and I have a whole bunch of those, so we're gonna try and use as much as possible because I do like, you know, having a lot of volume and thickness and also my hair is very layered right now. So I need to really kind of like put as many in as possible to kind of mask all the short pieces. Also, what's great about having a lot of clips is if you're lazy, you can only you can use like, you know, a couple at a time and then when, you know, they need to be washed or whatever, you have more for later. So I find that to be helpful because then you have you know more options and you don't ever run out and we're gonna have some like fuzz going on because you know i have been pulling the curls apart now as you can see we've got some blending issues going on because i have obviously pulled apart all of the curls so they're not you know looking as nice and silky smooth as the rest of the hair but i have ways to fix that which i will show you in a second so for now we've got that out of the way and we are just going to tie it off to the side. Okay, so moving on into the babonias. So this comes with two five clip wefts, which we're not going to use because we know that's not going to fit. And then it comes with five three clip wefts and then two two clip wefts. So we're going to go ahead and start with the three clips because that is what's going to be easiest. Oh, we have a piece back here. My hair still kind of has some like slight highlights from the sun. I spent most of the summer traveling, so my hair is not fully as dark as it normally was when I first received these, but that's okay. We can work with it. And like I mentioned before, both companies do offer a good variety of different textures for your hair. So if you don't have 3A or like slash 3B curls like I do, that's completely fine. They do offer different textures. So it is pretty inclusive as far as curl pattern, which is nice. Okay, so right away you can obviously see a difference in length. The Bobonia comes in up to the 22 inches, and then the Bell Hair, I have the 26 inches, so that's a pretty big difference. They both do come in, I believe, like 18 to, well, Bobonia comes in the 18 to 22, or 16 to 22. I think it might be 16 to 22, and then Bell Hair, I believe, is 18 to 26, depending on which ones. So that alone is like a complete personal preference, and depending on the length of your hair, you're gonna choose a different length because you obviously want it to look natural and blend more natural. So personally, I really like both. I think the curl pattern on both works really well for my hair. If I want a more 
I guess like natural length, I'd probably choose the Vivonia, but if I want something, you know, really kind of like exotic glam out there, I'd probably choose the Bel Hair. Now, what I was going to say was if you have a bunch of layers or you have a hard time layering your extensions in to the length of your hair, something that I really like to do is like do like a little half up, half down. Especially if you've got like a lot of difficult ones like on the top here and it just like they're fuzzed up or from whatever, from me separating the curls. A lot of times I will just do like a little half up, half down situation. And I've showed this in my video for how to style your curly hair extensions, so I'll be brief. But basically what I do, and obviously just, I'm not doing it perfect, you're probably gonna see like the tracks, which you wouldn't if you actually took the time to do it properly. But basically, and you would maybe wanna use a smaller scrunchie so you don't look like you stepped straight out of the 80s. But you would basically just like do like a little kind of updo, and then because you've done it that way, the hair is then going to kind of like fluff over the sides and kind of like conceal any areas that just don't look right, like towards the front of your face. It sounds really weird, but like you can just see that it immediately just blended my hair better just by doing that. And then if you don't want to do a ponytail, you can make it into a bun. So I usually do like a one, two wrap. And then when I secure it, I kind of take the little pieces on the sides and I spread them out. Again, that kind of just adds more, you know, layers and kind of makes the hair look more natural in that way. So yeah, just a little tip. If uh, you are having issues, especially towards the top of your head, that's usually where my problem area is. Um, again, I use like a lot of extensions here because I wanted to kind of like give the full effect. You obviously don't need to use as many clip-ins if you don't want to. So that is it for today, guys. I really hope you found this video helpful. I will, of course, leave both of these brands linked in the description box below, as well as my initial review videos and my video to show you how to style curly hair. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. It really helps me out in the algorithm, and thank you so much for watching.